All right, what's up, you fucks? Oh man, it's a freaking crow. I'm trying to go to other places, not just fast food places. I'm gonna be going to fast food places as much as I can, but you know, they don't always roll out new products to try. And if they do, hey, let me know. I'll go check them out. Um, but you know, I post these videos on my Patreon before I make them public. So if you wanna see them or just give me money, you know, go ahead and uh, do that. Patreon.com slash the Sixler. We're generating spite to destroy Jeff Davis using the power of our minds and most crucially your money. <laughs> so I went to a place called Wax Paper. In LA, Wax Paper is a sandwich shop. They have two locations, the small owned business. They've always seemed really cool and nice. I don't remember when I heard about them, probably a few years ago, but ever since then I've been, you know, going on and off. You know, they're they're really nice artisanal sandwiches. They're not cheap, but you know. And specifically on Thursday, they do a sandwich of the week kind of thing. Like they just come up with some sandwich and only sell it on Thursday. It's like their unique sandwich. It's always changing. I've gotten a lot of their sandwiches. Uh, they have like a roast beef sandwich that's really good. It uses French onion dip, like, uh, like for ruffles <laughs> as like a sandwich spread. Really good. Great idea, by the way, if you want to make a roast beef sandwich with, with onion dip, maybe even put some chips on that. That sounds really good. Maybe I'll do that one of these days, make a different, like a cooking video. Who knows? I want to do cooking stuff, but the kitchen, my kitchen setup is not it doesn't, it's not going to really work. Uh, so in the short term, not possible. I want to do it. So yeah, it's Thursday when I'm recording this at least. And I went to Wax Paper to get the Thursday special. The Thursday special this week is on ciabatta bread. Um, it has turkey. It has like arugula and scallions and a kind of aioli and fried garlic. I don't know, there might be one other thing, but that's kind of the general vibe of it. Maybe I could post a picture right now. Whoa. So that's what's on the sandwich. <laughs> so here's what we got. You can see the turkey. Up here is the fried garlic. Down here is like the uh, arugula kind of salad. There seems to be peppers. The ciabatta is probably like my least favorite bread that they have. They have the ciabatta, they have like a French baguette, they have like a seeded soft, not a seeded, like a sesame seed soft bun. And then they have kind of like sliced whole grain bread. And they don't really do substitutions or anything, especially not for the kind of bread they use. The sandwiches are kind of built on their bread. Um, but the ciabatta is really tough and chewy and it can just get tiring trying to, to trying to bite through it. So yeah, I, I got a bite of the pepper. <laughs> oh God, I got the hiccups. I gotta, I'm gonna weep this out. All right, the hiccups went away. <laughs> um, I don't know about you guys, but I always get hiccups when I eat something spicy. Cut this, cut this all. Jesus Christ, cut myself, cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort so yeah these there's there's spicy peppers kind of scattered around and they are oof spicy they're kind of just dotted around the sandwich and um so they're like these little spice bombs we yeah, have these little explosions of really intense heat the next thing that like was the first kind of taste sensation to hit me is whatever this dressing is i think it's the aioli and it's just yeah this creamy sour kind of vinegary it's it's it kind of just has like a salad dressing sort of vibe to it and it also had a bit of like asian kind of i don't know if it's like sesame oil or whatever or maybe it was just like the chill the the pepper or whatever that kind of like made it hit kind of like asian dressing a little bit the turkey's really good it's you know it kind of soaks up a lot of these other flavors and it kind of like spreads them out the turkey is yeah it's like roasted turkey or whatever but it's it's different than like lunch meat turkey, which I don't mind lunch meat turkey, but I don't know how they preserve it or they cure it or something, but it has this kind of like regular turkey usually has this kind of, I don't know, I guess you'd say like a preservative taste. You can kind of taste that slime a little bit on it. 
Um, whereas this just tastes like, it kind of tastes like someone took a, a, a roasted Thanksgiving turkey and just sliced it really thin, like, like leftovers from a couple days ago, which is pretty interesting because, you know, I know that's like a weird distinction, but to me, those flavors are like so far afield. Like deli meat turkey just tastes kind of like any deli meat. It all tastes kind of, you know, samey a little bit to me. Whereas this is like, oh no, that's like turkey. Weird distinction, I guess. Um, I think there could be more sauce. One thing with sauce is it can like soak into the bread. I don't know how this works, but I feel like when sauce soaks into the bread, you can't really taste it as well, which doesn't make a ton of sense to me because you'd expect, you know, you just taste it on the bread, right? That would make sense. But for whatever reason, whenever the sauce sinks in, it doesn't really hit for me. Yeah, there's the fried garlic on the top, which it has this nice aromatic kind of garlic, but it's not as strong. Like when you look at it, it looks like there's just crushed peanuts on the sandwich, which sometimes they do do crunch peanuts and they're really, really nice. <laughs> but, but it's like just a, a lot of these like fried chunks of garlic and so you'd expect it to be like really strong garlic wise and it's actually not it um it, it what comes through is a lot more of a toasty flavor almost like a toasted sesame or something i'm not sure but yeah the toasted garlic it all, i almost want more because it's really nice but you don't you know i think it like the spice kind of overwhelms it a little bit you know what there's also cilantro in here which i think that might be contributing a little bit to the kind of Asian-ness. Like you get cilantro on a banh mi a lot of times. Between the cilantro and the arugula, it's like this really unique kind of herbaceous kind of pretty strong plant flavor, you know? There's no cheese on it. A lot of times it bums me out when there's no cheese on these Thursday specials because, you know, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Um, I think again, with this more kind of delicate, garlicky, spicy profile, the cheese might you know, cover that. Cheese can kind of flatten down other flavors. The fat of it, I think, you know, somehow, yeah, can deaden other flavors. So it, since it's like such this kind of delicate aromatic mix, I could see that being part of it. To me, the big problem with this is I want more sauce. I want more aioli or something. If you see down here, they put the sauce at the bottom, but then this is all just dry. Like if they had tossed this in some aioli or something, oh, there's like, these are like sliced jalapenos, huh? Or the vinegar is just not as forward as I think I would want, you know, that kind of acid or something, you know. There's that conceit, some Samin Nosrat has the salt fat acid heat is a really good way to think about flavors. The fattiness in the acid of the aioli is covering for a lot of the heat and the salt of the uh, peppers and the kind of garlic and to a lesser extent the turkey um but like the acid is kind of low in this mix i really like vinegar and acid and stuff so maybe that's just like more of a me thing but um speaking of acid they got this pickle they give you like this little bit of pickle when you get a sandwich they're somehow really good texturally they're a bit soft but the flavor is like really great. There's a lot of sweetness, um, but not to the point of getting like a bread and butter pickle. And there's also a lot of heat to it. So that side of the sandwich, I think you got a better, you know, amount of the sauces. And I think it comes together a lot more so uh, nicely. Um, but yeah, ultimately my critique is, I would have more of the sauce and uh, the kind of fried garlic. Um, I think that's an easy thing to say. Those are like the two messiest parts of the sandwich. And presentation is not necessarily the thing they're going for, but it's a big part of what they're going for. So it's like, yeah, why don't you slop on more of the slop? You know, I think that's that's not necessarily what they want to do. And man, the spice, it really... <laughs> I was not expecting that level of <laughs> spice, but it's good. What Wax paper is undeniably a five uh, fork spork, five spork five fork restaurant um and this sandwich you know if i was rating it on a scale of one to ten this is like a seven um there's ones that i wouldn't order again i would definitely order this one again but i can't say it's like the best one i've ever had there's some really crazy combinations that they throw together so uh you know one that i wouldn't order again might be like a four because even those are not like bad uh but yeah so if you're in the area check out wax paper they got two locations it's a whimsical strange place uh they aren't cheap 
But you know, it's a small business. They care. They seem to care about their employees. Uh, everyone seems to really love working there. I think they pay well. So you know, definitely check it out if if you have you know if you have the time and the inclination. Get the fuck out of here.